Today I'm going to show you guys how to shape your goatee up using a straight razor. Let's get into it. Jay here from EasyBladeShavingProducts.com. I'm going to show you guys again how to shape up your goatee. Now what you're going to need is the tea outliner of your choice. Today I'm using a Babyless Pro tea outliner. You're also going to need a machine, a machine to lighten up your beard if you choose to. That's self-explanatory guys. You can buy that anywhere. Put it on the machine. You can buy a cheap machine. Just lighten up your beard. If you want to keep it dark, keep it dark. Uh, and then we're also going to use the Easy Blade Stone Razor. You can pick any straight razor of your choice. Again, we're going to use the Easy Blade Double Edge Razors. You can pick any razor of your choice. And you're going to need a clear shave gel because you want a clear shave gel. This is the Easy Blade Clear Shave Gel. You want to put that on there so you can see the line and see exactly what you're doing. But the first thing we got to do is start with our T outliner, and we're going to do that right now. Okay, I'm going to turn on my T outliner. The, the look that I'm going for is I'm going to go straight down, straight down. I'm going to come under my neck. And then I'm going to line up my mustache. Let's get into it. Just angle your T outliner. You want to make sure that you're using the moving part of the blade. And you want to start your line. And you want to pull away. So put it on there and pull away. Put it on where you want it and pull away. Same thing on the other side. Put it on there and pull away. Put it where you want it and pull away. Now we're gonna go under our chin, lift your head up, and I'm gonna come around. I like mine round, you can go square, you can do whatever you want. I'm gonna go around, put my head all the way up. And I'm gonna connect to the line. Same thing over here. All right guys, now we're gonna work on the mustache. Now, I like my mustache pretty thick. I like to bring it at a curve coming down. I'm gonna come up from the top of my nose and come down. So you wanna turn your T outliner upside down and you wanna angle it if that's how you want it. If you want it thin, a lot of people do like thin mustache. I like it thick. So I'm gonna go ahead, turn it at an angle. And just go right up into the nose area. Same thing over here. Now you can bend your lip a little bit and do it at an angle. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and line up under my lip. If you have a thick mustache, you wanna make sure that you're lining up under your lip. Very important, you don't want the hair to hang over the lip. It won't look professional at all. We want us to learn how to use our straight razor like a pro. We want to learn how to line up our goatee like a pro. So I'm going to go ahead and look, have that barbershop ready look. I'm going to go under my uh, lip. All right, now the next thing I'm going to do real quick uh, is just take off the hair off the side of my face, just, just where I won't look like I have pork chops on my face. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and take that off. And I already have a skin fade, so I'm just gonna blend all of this out. If you don't, you can always square off your sideburns and kind of curve this out. But go ahead and just take the hair off your face and uh, I'm gonna clean that up real quick. Okay guys, now let's work on the inside. Now it all depends what you want to do on the inside. Some people like to keep it rounded in the inside. Some people like to go straight down and straight across. Some people like to go around. So it just all depends how you want to do it. Now that for this particular video, I'm going to go ahead and go round, guys. So I'm going to sharpen out these and then I'm going to go ahead and go round. So you guys ready? Now to do this part, I'm going to kind of blow up my lip. This way I have more space because my chin is a lot smaller. So I'm going to go ahead and blow up my lip. You can do it two ways. You can go like that, or you can go like this. When I did that, I put my tongue there. If I did this, I put air in there. So either way, whatever works for you, whatever's gonna be easier, I'll show you I'll show you both ways. You gotta adjust your goatee accordingly, how thick you want it, how, how uh, thin you want it, or how thick you want it. So I'm going to go ahead and do this side, and all the details are going to come in when we get to the straight razor, guys. Now you want to use the corner of your machine.
to really get that detail. And I'm gonna come in a little bit more because I feel like it's too wide. Now I'm gonna come inside and go around. Now I'm going more at an angle. I'm going like, like kind of like a roundness. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dig into these corners a little bit more with the corner of my machine. All right, now for this part right here, I like to round it out. Some people like to take it off. You can do what you feel. I'm gonna go ahead and round that out. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna grab our Easy Blade Shave Gel. It's a clear, non-foam shave gel, and it's uh, translucent, so you can kind of see what you're doing. That's the whole point of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab uh, just a fingertip amount of that, not too much, just about that much, guys. And I'm gonna take it with my fingertip. I'm just gonna rub it in the areas in need of a shave. And what this is gonna do is basically loop up the area so that that straight, rise, straight razor will glide. And you guys are gonna see a lot more detail right now. You're gonna see this uh, goatee really start to pop out once I apply the straight razor. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the Easy Blade Stone Razor. Now this razor is pretty good because it has a lot of weight to it and it's good for beginners. If you have a light hand, the heaviness of the blade is gonna allow you to you know, shave a lot better. I'm gonna go, grab, go ahead and grab the uh, Easy Blade Double-Edged Razor, break that in half. This is how you break a straight razor. You break it in half, pull it apart like that. You want to make sure that you load it correctly. There's two dots right here on the straight razor. You want to put that in there and close the blade. Close the lock, and there you go. Now to shave this side, again, we're still all looped up from the straight razor. You're going to have a paper towel, whatever you have, to wipe off your straight razor. I'm going to go ahead and pull my skin this way. You guys can see. I'm going to apply my straight razor on my face, and I'm going to hold it at a 30 degree angle. And I'm gonna come straight across. You guys can see that side looks pretty sharp. Now we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. Pick our arm up, turn the straight razor upside down, put our hand behind our back to pull our skin. You guys can see. And we're gonna hold the blade like this. Okay, pull it, hold the blade at a 30. Now make sure you guys are pulling that skin. Now this is a weird angle. I'm sure there's other ways to do it, but this is how I do it. And this is what works best for me. Again, let me show you guys that movement. You want to take the razor, pull your arm up, flip the razor upside down, put this hand behind your back, pull the skin. This allows me to pull the skin a lot more. Then you want to go ahead and use your straight razor. Now for the mustache, you want to make sure that you bend your lip like that, like so. And then you want to angle your blade at a 30, pull the skin right here. Pull up your lip a little bit just to get that corner. Now this all depends on your face structure. You can have a chubbier face. I have a slim face, so my skin is not that, uh, you know, my skin is pretty tight. So if you have a chubbier face, it's a lot cooler because you guys can stretch your skin more. So I think it's a lot easier for you guys to use a straight razor if your face is a little more chubbier. Now the same thing on this side. Put my arm like this around my head. And I'm gonna go like this. Now if you wanna get under the nose, pull up your nose. Make sure you're angling at a 30. And get that. Here we go, we got our uh, mustache coming up, down. 
coming straight down, and then we got the chin under here. Now we're gonna work on the inside. Putting my tongue there. Angling at a 30. Same thing on this side. Now I'm gonna work on the edges right here. Same thing, blow up your cheeks. Turn your blade like this at 30. Same thing on the other side. You wanna make sure that you hold your blade like this. Grab your finger, put it here. Got my tongue here. Okay. We're gonna work on the bottom of the lip. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn my straight razor upside down like this. I'm gonna blow up my lip the same way you can use your tongue or you can blow it up like that or like that. I prefer to use my tongue. Some more shade gel under here. I didn't apply it the first time. I'm gonna lift my head all the way up, same thing. Turn my razor upside down at an angle, make sure it's a 30. Okay guys, there you have it. Now that's your goatee. I went ahead and went round. You guys can go inside, you can do whatever you want, but use those same angles. Make sure that you're angling your straight razor at a 30 degree angle. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and clean my face. Now I have a full how to shave your face tutorial. I'll attach a link below. We put that in the description for you guys. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just use a shaver today to make things a lot easier. I don't feel like shaving my face, but if you do wanna see a step-by-step -step hot towel shave on your own face, click the link below, go in the description and click that link. I'm just gonna use this, uh, this is particular one as a Babyliss Pro uh, shaver. I'm gonna go ahead and use that and I'm gonna just clean up my face, clean up my chin, because I don't feel like putting the razor right now today. All right, so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna apply the Easy Blade Aftershave Tonic. And the reason why you wanna apply an aftershave tonic is because it's an astringent. Our particular uh, aftershave tonic has tea tree, jojoba, witch hazel, very good. And an astringent will close the pores. So you wanna close those pores when you finish shaving and you wanna be able to close that. That's how people get razor bumps and stuff like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and just apply about three squirts. And I'm gonna go ahead and take a paper towel, roll that in. What that's gonna do again is close the pores, guys. You wanna shock those pores, you wanna close them. And I'm gonna go ahead and apply a cold towel as well. That's gonna apply, that's gonna go ahead and close the pores even more. We wanna keep those closed. We don't want any dirt to get in there because when you shave, the follicles, the hair follicles are open. You don't want dirt, dust, whatever it is to get in there. You wanna close them as soon as possible. Okay guys, hope you guys enjoyed that how to shape your own goatee up like a pro. Uh, this is Jay here from EasyBladeShavingProducts.com. If you guys need any products from our website, you can go to EasyBladeShavingProducts.com. Use coupon code U2. Talk to you guys soon.